Hey everybody, it's Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. It is 12 noon Wednesday and I randomly have a day off. So I have the whole day to go ahead and focus on the channel and do a bunch of plantings. I am leaving to Las Vegas tomorrow night after work for a couple of days for the work weekend. So I think this is like the perfect opportunity to plant up a bunch of babies. And stay tuned because I will focus on doing my top 10 series focusing on my plant collection. I like to do my top 10 series at least once every quarter because my plant collection grows by the week. Stay tuned for that. In today's video, and I have it pointing in this point of view because the sun is shifting in my patio. Let me know if you guys love this point of view. You can definitely see a lot of things going on behind me. My place is definitely a jungle. My allergies is driving me crazy because of the season and this time of year with the rain and all of that. So don't mind me. I'm gonna try to not sneeze so much. So today's video, I'm just gonna see where this takes me. Again, when I do these planting episodes, I never know what I'm gonna end up pairing what plant to what planter. And I would like to at least do eight plants or so. What I wanna do is start off with a, a few plants that are still in the bathroom without an official home because I would like to do my bathroom plant tour very soon. I'm gonna start with this begonia. And this is a begonia that I got I believe in Lakewood. So this is a perennial and I don't have much perennials. This is a begonia and this is a Fuchiotis red. Now as you can see there is some red blooms that are starting to pop out. I definitely want to get it into a planter and I try to kind of have my begonias in plastic planters. I feel like they do better in plastic planters than in terracotta. I don't know why. Um, sound off down below how do you like to plant your begonias if it's not in ground. I don't plant anything in ground. With having everything in containers, I'm definitely challenged to see what works best for the plant. So this is a planter that I had for a while now. I believe I got this from Home Goods Las Vegas. And there is a drainage hole in here, a tray here. So I think this is perfect for my little DIY plant uh, shelf in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna loosen up the soil. And get this beautiful begonia. We'll see how well it does with me in my space. So let's see here. I think the aesthetic of this planter is perfect. Had a beach workout this morning. So I still have my workout clothes under here. But I think after I'm done doing some planting and I would like to at least do one of my top 10 plant video today. I like to film it before I go to Las Vegas. I do a three part series for that, house plants, cacti, and succulents because my collection is so big. So it'd be nice to sit down and look through my collection to see who's gonna make my top 10 because I never know. So here is the look guys, look at how perfect that is. I think that was a good call using this planter for this begonia, so stunning. I'm gonna set this on the side here, love that. I love how that worked out so well. I think I want to do this Peperomia Amigo Marcelo. This was the one that I got in Santa Barbara. I know you guys enjoyed that come with me. And I'm always looking to collect more Peperomias. Now, I think I'm going to put it in this white planter just because I don't want to have to keep replanting it. I know it is a little bit big, but we'll see. I'm going to see if I like the look and then we'll go from there. I think this could be a look. Okay. So let's work quickly. Definitely don't want to touch this thing for a while. This will be its forever home until it really outgrows this, but I don't have this Peperomia and Peperomia for the most part. I really don't transplant them into bigger planters. I think maybe once I did for my Otusifolia, one of them. Other than that, all of my Peperomias are in its original home. I think I like the look of this, guys. I think it's gonna fill up the planter quite nice. What do you guys think? I don't know, we'll see. Just pressing the plant a little bit more rounded into the planter using my finger to get it nice and up 
right in there. I think that's going to look at its best. I think this is going to be the final look for the plant. Okay, I think, I think you're good to go. I'll keep you guys posted on this. I mean, it's kind of on the big side. I mean, technically, I would kind of want it in this size planter, like a terracotta size. But I like to have my peperomias, if possible, in an all-white planter. So, you know, it's probably going to fill out the planter sooner than later. And then the rat tail blooms are going to pop up, and I think it'll look better aesthetically. So, for now, you'll stay in here. I think this works well. Up next, I would like to try to deal with these guys. I have a bunch of hanging baskets in my bathroom still in his nursery planters and originally those plastic planters that i got off of amazon was supposed to be for them and then i ended up not using it for them i have two left so we'll see um, but i don't want no heavy ceramic planters in my bathroom because i don't want my tension rod to drop and then break the planter ruin the plants, the plants underneath it. So I got this plant from my Los Angeles flea market when I took Shannon with me. I love this. We'll leave this Tritiscanti on the side. I'll deal with it in a second. So let's see what the condition is. I've never planted up a rabbit's foot fern. And I would like to see what is going on underneath here. I don't want to disturb the roots too much, but I definitely want to go ahead and loosen it up. Because once I put it in the planter, I'm not going to mess with it. So I'm just freeing up the roots. Just a little. Okay. Perfect day for planting. Okay. I think now I'm going to see what works best. Plants. Now these are the two planters that I have left that I was dedicating to the ferns, but hmm, questionable. Questionable. Okay, I mean possibly, maybe. I could leave it in here. It is like the exact same size of what the plant was living in. And I kind of wanted to have a little bit more leg room. But what do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it in here. And then when I feel like it's time to make a switch, I'll get it out into a bigger planter. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it in here and it's gonna go with my teal macrame hanger in my bathroom. So that worked out well. Now for my Tritiscantia, this guy here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him because I'm fine with it being in a ceramic planter. Let's see here. Oh, okay, look at all of the roots here. It's root bound. Now, let's see if you would fit in a nice pattern like this, maybe. No, I think that's too big. Can you find the right aesthetic for you? Maybe this? Oh, this could be a look. Okay. I had a white planter hanging out. Add some soil here. Okay. I'm just loosening up the root system. Do some pruning here. Clean it up a little bit before I plant it in. And this thing is going back in my bathroom. I have a little humidifier, which I'll talk about in my next plant haul that I have running in my house, which right now is in my bathroom because I'm not taking a shower. But normally I like to wet my plants, either mist them or throw them underneath my shower. 
before I shower and then it gets a little spa treatment. Okay, so now I have it up like this so I can try to get a little bit more soil in there. And I'm not touching this thing. Tritoscantias like to cascade. It's just a little bit soil around the edges and it'll be good to go. Okay. Let's see here. My allergies is acting up. I think this is going to be the look, guys. Okay. Here's the final look. What do you guys think? I think this is perfect. Look at that. There's a lot of personality to this Tritoscantia. It's been living by my toilet in my bathroom. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can get this rabbit's foot fern in my last plastic hanger. Because I would like to put both of them in the teal macrame. And I'm going to try to not ruin any of the rabbit's foot. And I want to say I got this from the Pasadena Rose Bowl flea market last year. I want to say it's been with me for a while. I don't know how I remember where I get all my plants. It always seems to amaze me. So this thing is in definite need of a new home. All right, here's what the plant looks like. This thing lives on my tension rod pole in my bathroom. So it gets a lot of humidity. Just trying to loosen up the root system and then I'm gonna try to place it in the last white plastic planter. Just freeing up the roots a little. Ferns definitely have a lot of roots, so just kind of loosen it up a little bit. All right, so something like this, just so that it's not still compacted from the shape of that planter. All right, that's enough. Will you fit? Okay. Just put a little bit of soil under here. I'm gonna try to get its little rabbit foot on the outside of the planter. definitely did not like when I went to Egypt as you can see half of the plant went a little bald on this side so it's a little bit of uh, heavier on one side here than this one but it's okay you're still cute I guess what I could do is maybe face this side to my glass of my shower so that maybe the foliage will lean towards that way and then even itself out I want to say this is a look, okay, again if I feel like I'm not happy with this plant in here, take a look at it, we'll see, I'll keep you guys posted, but I want to put this in my macrame teal hangers that I got, um, so we'll see, we'll see, this could be, this is my sense of area that I got in Reseda and I want to say you're going to look good in this we'll see what kind of root system you have okay. a lot of perlite so that's good nice and airy Okay, look at the root system of this. Get this in here. I 
think this might be a look, guys. Take a look at that. Okay. This thing is so stunning. What a great find. Glad it fit in this beautiful white planter. What a look. I think this is the look guys what do you think i think that is so stunning i'm not gonna touch this thing it looks great and i'm glad it worked out in this new planter last one i want to do is this succulent that i got from carpenteria catherine got the same one too from pasadena rose bowl i just have a terracotta that was lying in my section of planters and I'm just gonna go ahead and plant it up in here and not touch it I think that is the look take a look at that very cute okay I'm gonna try to see guys if I can as I get poked by my sense of area if I can get something in this planter now as I try to take this plug out okay I want to see if I can get this in here. This could be a look. I know I talked about like a Senecio trailing. But maybe I could get this in here. Without. Well, first of all, I need to loosen up the root system. There's a lot of pumice in here, so that's good. A lot of perlite in here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this into here, if possible. Now, now that I see this, it could work out if I had another one. That was a little bit too much. I'm sorry. I'll still plant you up today. Maybe if I can get my ruby necklace, maybe? I don't want to touch him, but this thing is trailing super long. Take a look at that. I think this might be the perfect time. I'm going to use my little planting tool here. Chopstick type tool. And I didn't think I was going to do this anytime soon to my ruby necklace, but it's doing so good and i really want to use this planter for something all right so maybe i can use this for something else look at how good my ruby necklace is okay so for this particular plant i can definitely get this plant spread throughout okay this is exciting I'm gonna get it in the center and then I'm going to thread a part of it through working very quickly I don't want to break any of the trails this is I'm trying to be very careful because as you can see I just broke off a trail succulent string like senecio succulents once you plant them up you don't want to touch them because they're so so fragile so I want to say this looks good enough for me maybe I might do one more trail on this end and then call it a day did I ruin the plant I hope not I want to say this is a look. And now that I have it in a bigger home, it'll probably trail even more for me. What do you guys think? And any fallouts, I'll just put it in the planter. It'll propagate itself. So like all of these guys, I'll just throw them in here. Okay. It'll grow and fill up the planter. 
I know it looks silly now, but I'm imagining this whole thing cascaded over with ruby necklace. What do you think, guys? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it in here until I see how I feel about this thing. I mean, it would even look really nice with a string of bananas. But for now, I think I wanna leave it like this. It's spewing out on both sides and if I don't feel happy with it, I'll do something else. But I think it was definitely time to take it out of this little planter. So stick this on the side. It looks super cute. Now I apologize for you. I'm sorry. I want to see if I can get you into a white planter perhaps. It would be super cute in this one. Oh, that's cute. Take a look at that. And this thing gives off purple blooms. So that should be exciting. It's already variegated from the being in the sun. Okay, maybe I might get like a chopstick to help hold it up here in the center to bring it more upright. But I think I'm loving it in a white planter typically i probably would have chose a terracotta because it's a succulent but if i have extra white planters that i can give to a succulent every now and then especially if it's variegated i like to have it in a white planter so what do you guys think i think it's super cute and again i'll have it be more upright and even i can snatch it up with some velcro tape you know, look nice and even very cute i think this is going to be my last one for the day so this is my crested sunburst aeonium my crested sunburst aeonium and this thing was in definite need of a transplant so i want to go ahead and include it in today's video and there's some babies in here, so I'm not going to really try to disturb the top part because it's propagating itself here if you look really closely. I'm going to see if you... No, no, no. Let me get a bigger one. I think you might look good in this one. I think. Oh, that is a look. Okay. I definitely want to add some extra pumice in here. Just a little bit more. Just stir that up in there. Okay. I think that is going to work really well for this plant. Guys, take a look at this. So I'm not really trying to cover up the babies too much, but... This was in definite need of a transplant. Okay. What do you guys think? I think I'm glad that I had this white planter for it because of its variegation. I definitely didn't want it in a terracotta. today's big plant gang there is 10 babies planted up in today's video there is so much more that needs to be planted up but i wanted to keep this to 10 so i can enjoy the rest of my day this was very productive my kangaroo and my rabbit foot fern got planted up in today's video i wanted them in the last two plastic planters because i would like to have them on my tension rod in my teal macrame hangers in my bathroom so i definitely wanted to get them in especially my rabbit's foot it's been in my collection for so so long my begonia in the back there got planted up in a white planter that i had it'll go back in my bathroom my crested sunburst aeonium is also here variegated and beautiful and my new white planter that i got from downtown la and then here's one of my newest sense of areas added to my collection that i got in reseda and a planter that I got in Ontario, California. 
as well as the same planters but smaller size from Ontario, California. And then as well as the two planters from the same Ontario nursery, I have my Pepper Romeo Amigo Marcelo in here. And then this and is an unidentified baby that I got from Fallbrooks, California. To San Diego, I stopped by another plant nursery in Fallbrook and I don't know what this particular succulent oh, is. I give off beautiful purple blooms. I have my Tritoscantia. My, I think this is like the fuzzy lilac Tritoscantia. I have that in a uh, white planter that I had for a while now. And then my Carpentaria succulent that I got. Catherine has the same thing too. And then my beautiful ruby necklace that has been outgrowing itself and its white planter. I have it in this hanging system here that I got. And I have my beautiful ruby necklace that I've had for a while now that I think I believe I got from Pasadena Rose Bowl. As you can see, it was trailing very long and I wanted to go ahead and put it in something bigger. So I went for this route, but again, with these type of senecios and trailing type of plants, you don't want to keep fussing with them and touching with them. So I don't know, we'll see, but I imagine this thing will trail super, super long in here. Um, but let me know what do you guys think about this pairing. So here's just a quick little overview of today's babies. So 10 beautiful babies got planted up in today's episode and I think I did pretty well. Okay guys, so that is gonna wrap up another Planting with Julian. I'm actually sitting on my Tiffany blue table because if I stand up, you won't be able to see me with all of the plants I planted up today. I think that's kind of funny. I hope you guys enjoy this very fun Planting with Julian. There's so many cool things uh, that have been growing in my collection that recently got into my collection. My ruby necklace is doing so good. I put it in that hanging ceramic planter. We'll see how I feel about that. My uh, ferns got planted up in the last two plastic planters. I would like to put them in my bathroom now with the teal macrame hangers. I think that looks super cute. My crested aeonium as well as my sensivarium, my begonias, and a few of these guys down here. My tritoscantias, my unidentified babies, and my peperomia got planted up into new planters. There's so much happening in the collection that I still have lots of babies to plant up, so stay tuned. I will do a dedicated Planting with Julian episode on just my cactus fern and my staghorn fern as I want to use the Coca-Cola for that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Before I leave, I would like to do a plant friend shout out. This one is going to go to Asha Garner. Uh, posted up a couple days on my pot of fame for February. She says here, I love seeing your plants. Your videos are great. It has inspired me and I've started my house plant collection. That is so cool. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. And again, my videos that I post up daily is definitely to inspire you. There's so much going on in the plant community, whether it's in my space or in different retail spaces. I love all of my different series that I have curated on my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. really hard on my ever so much growing plant collection. As you can see, these are just some of the babies that need homes. I do have lots more that need to be planted up. I'll do them in chunks. I'll probably do another big planting with Julian when I come back from Las Vegas next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I do daily videos on this channel. Being able to inspire you one video at a time is so like gratifying for me to be able to do that. And I'm really motivated to keep up with my collection and having this channel helps me with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a little humidifier for my plant collection inside of my Home, so I'll share that in a, maybe an upcoming video. If you guys enjoyed this video, sound off down below. Also, let me know what was your favorite baby that got planted up in today. There's 10 that I got in today. I wanted to at least do eight. So this is a really good video. And definitely this was much, much needed plant time. I cannot believe the rain actually stopped for me to film. Everything is wet in my patio, but very productive day. I can't believe I have the day off. I think I'm going to focus on my plant collection today. I'm going to try to also film my top 10 series because it's that time of the year where I want to at least throw up that series every quarter. So stay tuned for that. I will feature 30 plants in my collection for that. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I'll see you tomorrow. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California and Julian's Jungle. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.